going on, BPI Nation? It's your boy Trey. Here to work out at BPI's facility. Trying to get right for spring break. I'm excited to get my workout in today. I took my pre-workout about 10 minutes in, 10 minutes ago, just so I can get ready. And when I'm done with my warm up, I'll be ready to actually get into the workout. So I'm already starting to feel the, the pump right now. So it's ready to get started. Lights, camera, action, baby. Spring break workout on the way. Gotta get right. So I'm about to start out a little warm up. My warm up takes about two minutes. It's gonna be a complete upper body game. So I'm working chest, back, biceps, and tries. All the muscles you need to really show off on the beach. How long do you typically say your workout would be? Uh, my workout typically is about an hour. Uh, could be shorter, could be longer, depends on how long, how, how hard I'm going and how kind of efficient I am that day. But I definitely do take my warm up seriously. The way I see it, when you go to the beach and try to look good for spring break, you know, you can get two reactions. You can get the ooh, look at him, or you can get the ooh, look at him. I want to be like the the ooh, ooh, look at him. You know, today I'm not really going too heavy. Focus on my 10 rep sets. So definitely wanna, you don't wanna go too light, but you wanna challenge yourself. So one way for you might be, the challenging way for you might be different from somebody else's. But as long as you're challenging yourself, that's all that really matters. That's the way to grow and get better. Is this your first spring break down here in uh, Florida? Yeah, this is my first like real spring break living down here. Um, I've traveled down here before with some of my boys. But I wasn't actually living here, so now I'm, I'm just getting accustomed to that that South Florida lifestyle. And March is definitely crazy. You don't want to wait till spring break comes to start trying to work hard and get right for the beach. You want to work now. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna tell y'all a little. I'm gonna give y'all a little rundown about my training splits. So I like to do two heavy days, one upper body, one lower body. Normally start the week out with those. So Monday. My favorite day to start the week. I normally go heavy, but I'm switching it up this week uh, just to shock my body. So I'm going my rep day. So doing sets of 10 today, just to try and get toned and cut up for spring break. Uh, then I go a heavy leg day. Then Wednesday's the cardio. Normally do basketball or boxing. And Thursday, get right back to the upper body. And Friday, back to lower back to lower body. Saturday is my beach day, so I like to do a little maintenance in the gym. Arms, abs, then slide right on over to the gym. I mean to the beach. Looking good. Now it's time to actually get into the weights. Ah, my favorite part of the week. Warm up set number one. So today, since I'm going set of 10, obviously I'm not going to go too heavy. But you want to go enough where you're actually challenging yourself. So you want to, you want to be able to get your 10 reps. But you want to challenge yourself. You want, you want it to be a challenging thing. So you actually get a workout. I normally do about two to three warm up sets just to get myself ready for the actual week. You gotta take the warm up seriously so you don't get injured. Whew. All right, starting to feel that pre workout. I'll show y'all what I'm taking right now. One more rep, dope stuff. I'm, I'm starting to feel like, oh, uh, like I'm ready to just get into it. So, so now I'm about to get into my first set of 10 reps. Like I said, you want to go a set that'll challenge you, but you want to make sure that you can get 10 full reps. You don't want to be struggling on that on that seventh, eighth rep. You want to make sure that you can actually get through all 10 of them, but enough to actually make you work for it too. And don't don't worry about the weight necessarily so much. Worry about your form and actually getting your reps. 
First set, always set the tone. All right, come on, pre workout. Do me right, do me right. I'm locked in right now. Gym is my sanctuary. My sanctuary, I take the gym very, very seriously. I take my body very, very seriously. As should everybody. I mean, you only get one body, so why not make the most of it? Take care of it. People always ask, like, what supplements I take? I really tell them, like, I really take basic supplements. Pre-workout, protein, and I eat well. That's it. And doing those three things really just changed my life and how my body was. I used to be like kind of chubby. I was, I was bulky. Um, but then after I got done playing football, that's when I started to take the nutrition part seriously. I ran up, I did my studies, and then I found what works for me. Because people have to realize like, there's no crazy diet that works for everybody. Everybody's body reacts differently to different things. So the key is to just find what works well for your body. Ah. Ah. Perfect time for my BCAs. Feel a little fatigued, so I can use a little bit more energy. Whew. All right. <laughs> Those of you who don't really know exactly what BCAs do, uh, they branch chain amino acids. Um, they help you with fatigue during workouts. They help you recover faster, um, especially when you're working out at a high frequency. Um, multiple days away, you're going heavy, and you know they just give you that added substance so you can get into your next workout. Um, I would say better recovered and more free. When you come out all these exercises, literally anybody can do. Don't worry about the weight. You go for the weight that's more comfortable for you. Just because you see some guys going heavy in the gym, that doesn't mean that you have to try that weight. You have to do what works for you and challenges you. And just remember, the guy had to start somewhere. I had to start somewhere. I, went, I didn't just come out the womb doing this weight. So you don't have to start doing this weight. Start what works for you, then work yourself up and get stronger. Focus on form and just challenging yourself. Also switch up your grip variation so you can work different muscles. So I went overhand, had time to work, focus more on my back. This time I'm gonna go underhand so I can not only work my back, but I can add some bicep work in there too. Set number two. into a set if I can. Concentrically, I'll be pulling back, holding it isometrically, and then eccentrically letting it down. So you get to work your muscle a few different types of ways. Fun fact, 
Just imagine how successful you could be if you treated every workout like it was your last workout. Like, I don't know about y'all, but when we went in lockdown in the gyms, we got to close, I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> but I do remember my last workout before everything closed down. And that was one of the first, that was one of the best workouts that I had. And I don't even remember just because I'll hear the rumors about the gym closing. And I just want to keep it here. So. It's like playing the last game of a football game, man. Exactly. You're going to the bowl game, you're a senior, it's done. It's time to play, it's time to knock some heads off. Yeah, that's a very good thing. Last game, you know, you know you're not about to lace up again. I can be pretty hard on people. So it would be a complete crime if you didn't, didn't give it to all of the last game that you ever played. <sighs> Alright. Now it's time to work some biceps, so I'm about to go into seated dumbbell curls. And personally, what I find to be to give me the best pump is when I get an isometric hold at the top of the curls. And I, I just feel like I get a lot, I get a big pump when I do that. So some of these reps you'll see me holding at the top. Let's get that stick. Still going set to 10. Finishing up the third quarter, getting ready to go into the fourth quarter. When the workout starts to get hard, that's when you gotta go to hardest. All right, so this next set, once again, something that anybody can do, males, females, um, just to work your arms. Weight does not matter necessarily here. Just, you still wanna go enough to where you can challenge yourself, but you wanna make sure that it's a weight that you can comfortably get all of the reps. So this next thing is called 20 moves. Uh, in my case, I'm gonna call it 15, 16, 17, 5, 5, 5. So, this is one of my favorite bicep exercises. So, you'll go five reps halfway to the top. Next five reps, start halfway, and you go all the way up. And then, last five, you go all the way up, all the way down. This is one of my favorite bicep finishes. So, if you wanna get nice biceps, nice and toned, do this. What? 
two, three, four, five. So I did the, I did the five halves. Now the top halves. Strictly your arms and your biceps. Gym until I feel like I can't move anymore. All right, time to finish it out with my abs. Man, I feel good. Just so you know that you can do these anyway. So first thing is called in and out. So you'll go from a seated position, like you're sitting in a boat. You can put your hands to support you. Bring your knees into your chest, kick out. If you're just starting out this series of abs, I recommend going sets of 10. And then once the 10 gets easy for you, progress your way up to 12, to 15, eventually 20. So like when I first started doing this series, I started out doing 10 reps each thing, and then progressed my way up to now 20. We're actually gonna go into some scissor kicks. We're working on those little abs. This is another one you can put your hands underneath you or if you're a bench, so we can just do it.
Right, make sure your legs aren't going up too high. Not that much. starts off as being this freak or animal in the gym. It takes time, dedication, and lifestyle changes. Now we're going into Russian twists. day in the office. Good day in the office. I got better today. And I'm one step closer to getting complete and physically physically ready for spring break. Oh yeah. Gotta look good for the girls. South, when you're in South Florida, spring break is like really one of the, the best times, you know? You got people coming in from different places. And you gotta look good. You never know who you're gonna see on the beach. In case Rihanna's up there one day, I gotta look right. Let's see how to add to it. <laughs> look like I worked up. Now, the most important part, after you finish the workout, I really think that this is a key to me getting to where I am today. So within 30 minutes of your workout, I call that the window, um, or it's universally known as the window. That's when you want to get your protein in. But I feel like if I don't get my protein in within 30 minutes of workout, I feel like I wasted my workout. So that's when your body is really broken down, and that's when your body really takes in that protein. So I think that's ideally the best situation to take your protein within 30 minutes of the workout. So I'm about to get on that right now. So I just finished my workout. Um, now it's time to get that protein in. Ideally, like I said, you wanna get that protein in within 30 minutes of your workout. This is the protein that I'm using right now. My favorite flavor, strawberry. All done, I feel like super jacked. Now I get to take my protein 
and go about the rest of my day. Gotta shake it up real well so you don't get those chunks. Just like that, it's almost done. Oh, wow, it's good. Oh, now I can go home, shower, whip up a nice, good meal, and go about my day. A good day in the office.